When Ford first unveiled their new GT supercar at the 2015 North American International Auto Show in Detroit, the car drew waves of positive attention, but it also received a hefty amount of criticism from purists. People who believed that the new Ford GT should be powered by a V8 engine like the cars of old. The new GT has a twin-turbo V6, but there's a very good reason for that. So a lot of people have asked us, hey, why doesn't this car have a V8? And we can tell you right now, we had very specific aerodynamic targets for this car. If you look at the back of the GT, that incredible boat tail shape with the aero tunnels in there and the flying buttresses, there's two things that allowed us to do that. One is the fact we're using a twin turbo EcoBoost V6. This thing's making over 600 horsepower. It's a 60 degree V6 versus a large 90 degree V8. A V8, it wouldn't fit. And the other thing is those lightweight materials. Because we're working in carbon fiber, we can create shapes on this car and create aerodynamic performance on this car that you would never be able to get out of conventional materials. So that combination of lightweight materials, EcoBoost, and then of course, you know, we've got uh, great aerodynamic performance because of that. That's the combination that makes the new GT work. So that being said, what would you say to the old school purists who said, you know, the Ford GT has always had a V8, you know, I don't want it to change now. Why are you doing this to me? So the Ford GT, it has evolved over the year. The original GT40, the one that won at Le Mans, one, two, three in 1966, that had a 427 cubic inch Ford V8. And then when we came out the car, with the car in 05, 06, it did evolve. It went from a, a basically a big block V8 to a 5.4 liter V8, a supercharged version of that. So we applied new technology to get, get the performance while still maintaining the heritage. The GT's 3.5 liter V6 is much smaller and much lighter than a conventional V8, and it puts out more power. Ford has been touting the high power to weight ratio of the GT. That's more integral to a car's performance ability than sheer engine size. Ford will roll out the GT in limited quantities in 2016.